Hey, what up there? I'm Chrissy here. I want to talk to you guys today about something that we all deserve. Stay tuned. Okay, today we're going to be talking about respect. How to get someone or anyone to respect you no matter what the situation is whether it's a friendship a relationship a older person or a younger person whomever I have five ways to get people to respect you my first way is in order to get respect you have to give respect there's nothing uglier in the world than someone who walks around very arrogantly or making people feel like they're up here and 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 everybody else is down there. You know, you like you're better than everyone else in the world. No, nobody is better than anyone. So if you expect for someone to respect you, you're going to have to give respect. If you tell someone that you're going to do something, do it. Now, there are times that things happen. You know, some things we cannot control, but we can control the situation. We can call or talk to the person and try to push off whatever it was that we were going to do for a later time or maybe a later date, especially if there's, you know, an emergency or what have you. But follow through. Follow through gains respect from people if they know that when they call on you you're gonna be there just the same way as when you call on them they're there for you that's gonna make them respect you even more because they're gonna feel like they can trust you have boundaries don't be afraid to stand your ground if someone oversteps their boundaries don't feel bad for checking them tell them even if you have to pull them to the side or sometimes there are situations to where you have to check someone right away but don't be afraid don't let anybody feel that they can disrespect you and say oh mm -hmm, i'll catch it later i'm going to talk to them about it later no you either if there is if it's something that constantly happens when you're around that person, maybe you can pull them to the side prior to whatever you're doing and let them know, you know, I don't like it when you do X, Y, Z. Could you please not do that this time? You know, or if they're utterly disrespecting you in front of people, um, you need to check them. Excuse me. I don't appreciate you talking to me in that way. And I would appreciate if you would, you know, do better or say something better or talk better or lower your tone or what have whatever you have to do but do not allow people to overstep their boundaries with you because once you do then they're gonna feel that it's okay for them to do so and it's gonna be continuously happening every time you're around them so don't be afraid number four don't be afraid to apologize when you've done something wrong. Sorry, guys, if y'all hear that, they're mowing the lawn around here, so I apologize for the background noise. But don't be afraid to apologize when you've done something wrong to someone. There's nothing that gains more respect than when somebody can admit that they're wrong and apologize for it. Let them know, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings or I'm sorry that I said that. Maybe I jumped to conclusions a little fast. Maybe, you know, I should have stopped and listened to you completely before I made an assumption. Or I didn't mean to do this, that, or whatever. Just apologize and be sincere with it. That gains respect. And last, but definitely not least, presentation. Make sure that you present yourself in a respectable manner. If you expect for someone to respect you, make sure that your outward appearance, you don't have to be dressed in the finest. You don't have to have all of the name brand clothes and the name brand shoes. Just make sure that you're clean. 
Make sure that you're not smelly. Make sure that your teeth are brushed. Make sure that you put on deodorant in the morning. Make sure that your shirt don't have stains on it. You know, sometimes, you know, things happen, you know, or what have you. But for the most part, if you expect for someone to treat you with respect, you cannot walk around them with your underwear hanging out and your pants all the way down to your knees and expect for someone to give you the utmost respect because they're going to look at you in a certain way. Even though nobody deserves to be disrespected, there's no reason to cause or to call unwanted or unneeded attention to yourself. That unneeded and unwanted attention that is called to yourself is going to open up doors for people to disrespect you or say things that are hurtful to you. Whatever you expect from somebody, make sure you're willing to give that back. And if you're willing to respect someone the way that you expect to be respected, there should be no problems. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and tell everyone you know about Chrissy's life. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, peace, guys. Bye.